welcome back everybody. I am happy to say that I'm fishing a pond down the road from my house. They are finally unfrozen. A lot of them around here in the Midwest have been unfrozen for like a week now, but this one's like surrounded in trees, like giant oaks. So it just now unfroze within the past few days. Probably gonna refreeze next week when it gets colder down to the 20s at night again. But we've got a few days here where I can fish these ponds, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. So I'm uh, excited to get to fishing. The water's pretty dirty and the algae somehow didn't die with the ice. So still pretty limited on what we get to throw, but I'll show you guys what I'm throwing right now. Okay, so my GoPro is messing up with the battery. So I might have to drive home to get more batteries or plug it in. But the main lure I'm hoping to eat today is a Mega Bass Vision 110, just a jerk bait. It'd be a really fun bite to get on. And then of course I've got the Ned rig and a wacky rig on. Almost have to use those if you want to catch fish around here, especially this time of year. So, there's quite a bit of grass. So the wacky rig might be the main player. The water is clear but stained at the same time. stuff somehow made it through the ice and the no sun that was we didn't have sun for over a week here or something crazy like that when there was ice in the water but this stuff lived somehow I'm seeing some stuff pop on the surface over here so I'm gonna go see what is going on with the wacky rig I have a feeling it might be a wacky rig just let it sink to the bottom and reel it in type of a it's actually crazy how much of this grass survived like it's all the way to the surface along the whole pond. We've got a lot of rain and snow and everything recently, so all this, all that is added up to the pond finally having enough water in it. This is the highest it's been in, since the spring. Sucks to see. Dead bluegill, pretty big one too. I wonder what if he froze to death and it was stuck in the ice maybe or something. That sucks. Well, after doing a full loop with the jerk bait, I had no bites and no fish, so it is now Ned Rig Wacky Rig time. I'm gonna go the opposite direction this time, starting in the cove. I haven't seen water in this part of the pond in like over a year. It's crazy. Hopefully it stays like this for the spring. I just got hit like a hundred percent that was a fish it felt really little like not a bass and now I got a bunch of grass right before I hit that grass patch it felt like a fish I'm like get back out there I was on a net rig so literally anything could have hit it I just felt a little like tick this grass makes it impossible to use anything on the bottom That was another fish. I think these are bluegill. Just happened to happen because I've seen a bunch of bluegill swimming around. I haven't seen any signs of bass yet, but these bluegill are just tapping my net rig. That was a fish, 100%. Did terrible hook set because I was jigging it to the left. Oh, that sucks. I was on the wacky rig and I just barely felt it when I set the hook terribly because I went tried to go left I'm gonna do one final loop with a fluke so give it a try and then I'm gonna call it 
but I'll have another part of this video when I get back home. I'm gonna unbox the tackle warehouse order that I got. Well, nothing on the fluke, so I did three laps and no fish, but I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna do the unboxing of the rod and the tackle warehouse lure order I made, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, now I'm back at the house after catching nothing, so my tackle warehouse order came yesterday and my new rod is in here. I'll explain why I got a new rod in a second after I get it out of this tube. Now that it is out of the tube, this is a, I think it came out in 2020, a new Shimano Zodius. I've worn one of these since they came out. They're so cool. And the reason I bought this rod is I have my Corrado DC and I have it on a old uh, like 2018 Corrado rod with the cork handle and right here on the real seat of the Corrado rod it flares out and it's real big and I don't like that and my dad has the same rod and he likes how it feels so I'm trading him that rod and I bought a new one so now this rod will have my Corrado DC on it and I will be using it mainly for spinner baits so, and uh, Texas rigs also. This is a seven gear ratio Corrado DC and this is a 7.2 medium heavy Zodius. This rod is sick. I'll get some up close good footage of it and throw it on the screen right now. But this thing is just absolutely beautiful, so I'm excited to use it. It should be great for spinner baits. I like a little bit heavier rod. I didn't want to go straight medium, so medium heavy, 7.2. It's just all around, just a all around rod. But I'll mainly be using it for spinner baits. And now for the Tack Warehouse order, well, the rod is not Warehouse, but this is the base that I ordered. Starting off, we've got three spinner baits because every spinner bait I use, the blades fall off or it spins like slowly. You guys know what I'm talking about. Swim, si swim sideways or slowly whenever I put a big trailer on it, like a big grub, which is like what well, I like to throw in the dirty water with uh, spinner baits. So I read some reviews and uh, the Booyah ones, I like their action. They don't spin, the normal Booyah spinner baits. But the blades just stop, they just fall off after a while. So this is a different spinnerbait Booyah makes. And I like Colorado blades a lot. So this is, there's the spinnerbait. It's a Colorado blade. This is the Covert Series Colorado blade. And this is my favorite color. So we'll see if the blades just fall off of this one like they do the other Booyah ones. And the next spinnerbait is a Greenfish Tackle, another Colorado blade one. I was just reading reviews online trying to find good spinner baits, and this one popped up a few times, so I was like, whatever, I'll try it. I'm just trying different ones. Like, I, we, me and my dad tried the Shimano, uh, their new spinner bait, and it spins when you put a big trailer on it, so. This thing feels nice. The quality, it's hand-tied, nice hook. This is Greenfish Tackle. Another one of the same color, Colorado blade. So I'm really just gonna be trialing all of these out and seeing which ones I like. And next, this is the one I've got the most hope for. This is a Mega Bass SV3 double willow blade. And I mainly like Colorado's, but willow blades also work great. I just like Colorado's because in the spring when I usually, spring and summer when I use spinner baits, the water's always muddy here, so. Hopefully, this one's good quality. Got to get these staples out of it. I like how compact it is and the blades feel and the arm is like stiff and nice. So hopefully, hopefully this is nice. This is, Mega Bass makes great lures. So hopefully this one is just like everything else they make. There it is. This is super nice looking. It's got these crazy, all, another rubber strands coming out the back. But I have high, high hopes for this spinnerbait right here. So. Hopefully this is the season, or this like fishing season where I find a spinnerbait that doesn't break or spin. And then 
The next thing is the our favorite, me and my dad's favorite, lipless crankbait, red eye shads, and the sexy shad color. I got two in the normal, uh, just loud ones, and then two in the tungsten two tap because we have luck at different times on both of the different and on the like different versions of them. They all look the same, so I'll just take one out to show you guys. There it is. And now, the difference between the two tap and the normal one, I'll put them up close to the mic and show you guys. This is what a normal red eye shad sounds like. And this is what the tungsten two tap one sounds like. A lot more deeper of a knocking sound that I, we, I like, I think it works great. And then I got a rod sock for the Zodius. Some more 15 pound floral for several of my setups. I just go through this stuff like crazy. And then some of my favorite lures for the cold months are finesse jigs and a few of my favorite finesse jigs. I had the skirts like melt off because they were old. So I went ahead and got three new finesse jigs all from dirty jigs which are my favorite jigs i believe these are yeah these are the luke clausen finesse jigs and i got two in black and blue because that's my absolute favorite color for pond bass in the midwest and then i got one in green pumpkin so i got and these are just ball head finesse jigs so i got one in black and blue and one in green pumpkin of the quarter ounce there you go you guys can see it now but they're just quarter ounce ball head finesse jigs and I got another black and blue in 3 8 ounce so I'm excited to use these I'm really excited to use the rod the most out of that but that is the whole order I wish I could have caught some fish but the water just thawing out makes it pretty difficult so don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching